Now, let's talk about this newly appointed White House press secretary, Karine Jean-Pierre. She's the official spokeswoman for President Joe Biden. Like her boss, she struggles to answer a question coherently. The president's Twitter account posted the other day, you want to bring down inflation, let's make sure the wealthiest corporations pay their fair share. Mm -hmm. How does raising taxes on corporations reduce inflation? Um, so, and so it's very important uh, that, uh, you know, as we're seeing costs rise, uh, as we're talking about how to, you know, uh, you know, build an America that's safe, uh, that's equal for everyone and doesn't leave everyone behind, that is an important part uh, of that as well. And again, like Biden, you wonder at times whether she's lost the plot completely. But how does raising taxes on corporations lower the cost of gas, the cost of a used car, the cost of food for everyday Americans? So look, I think we encourage those who have done very well, right, especially those who care about climate change, uh, to support a fair ta tax code. Well, that makes no sense at all. <laughs> funding inflation by caring about climate change. Oh, maybe we'll do I mean, that here. Yeah, well, <laughs> look at Australia. But it is unhinged. And just reflect. This administration is responsible for overseeing the world's largest economy. Now, if what you just saw doesn't scare you, then I don't think anything will. It's pretty ugly. The net, there it is, 11.29. That's not, not where you want to be at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. The NASDAQ was looking even worse. The S&P, no pretty picture either. Nothing has changed on how we see the stock market. Uh, we do not, that's not something that we keep an eye on every day. Sorry. You don't keep an eye on the stock market every day. I'm sorry, is the presidency a part-time job? <laughs> so if the economy is not in your, what, top five priorities? Well, I wonder what is. Down and out, the Homeland Security's disinformation board is now <clears throat> paused. The would-be Minister of Truth, Nina Jankowicz, handed in her resignation letter, which was obtained by the Associated Press. We can realize that she has repeatedly made statements uh, that are utterly untrue, complete disinformation. You mentioned a couple of them. The Russia hoax that turned out to be absolutely nothing. The Hunter Biden laptop story, which she claimed was a Russian plant. Now even the New York Times and the Washington Post have to admit that it's real, that it really has happened that way. Biden's Orwellian-inspired disinformation governance board, which lasted all of three weeks, is no more. For some reason, people didn't take to big government deciding it would be the arbiter of truth and putting a leftist conspiracy theorist in charge of it. How are you going to spin this one, Corrine? So if it's pausing because you think the board was mischaracterized, then the disinformation board is being shut down because of disinformation? Is that what's happening here? Look, I mean, the, the board was put forth for a purpose, right? To make sure that we really did, a, a, uh, really did address what was happening across the country when it came to disinformation. And it's okay it's all, now, but no, days it's, it's just Twitter. going, it's, it's going to pause. There's been a mischaracterizations from outside, uh, outside forces. Mischaracterization from outside forces, otherwise known as the facts. <laughs> KJP unfortunately has what's politely referred to as NFI, no effing idea. That could have something to do with her thinking that this job was all about... I am obviously acutely aware uh, that my presence at this podium uh, represents a few firsts. Uh, I am a black gay immigrant woman, the first of all three of those to hold this position. This is a historic moment and it's not lost on me. I understand how important it is for so many people out there. Me, 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 me. Why are you picking on me, everyone? And why this division when we should stand united? And we must reject hatred and extremism ideologies that seek to divide uh, Americans whenever we find it in our society. This 
white guy and his privilege came on stage. Racism, sexism, misogyny, all of that, homophobia, xenophobia, we, we connected to Donald Trump. Racism, the slavery, Jim Crow, the, this country's original sin. We have to uproot systemic racism. Talk about this one of this country's first original sins, the racism, systemic racism. We also have to figure out as well how, how systemic racism deals in every part, every way. Start the process because it's going to take some time to uproot sy systemic racism. We have to keep, continue to call out this racism. We cannot stop. <sighs> Looks like the chickens <laughs> have well and truly come home to roost.